Slam that like button if you love cookies. Good morning, everybody. Please settle in. Settle into your seats, please. And read the board. Today is a field trip surprise. I have the biggest surprise for you guys. And I'm expecting you all to be on your best behavior on the field trip. Ugh, I bet this field trip is going to be so lame. I know, right, Sarah? I totally agree. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think the field trip's going to be amazing, and I don't even know what it is yet. Hey, guys, have you seen Molly? Oh, yeah, she's probably late. Again. One thing she's never late for is lunch. <laughs> Especially if we're having pizza and ice cream. Oh, man. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Oh, I hope I don't get detention. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Ah, thanks for finally joining us, Molly. <laughs> you're welcome. Molly, she wasn't meaning that for real. She's annoyed that you're late. Oh, um, uh, sorry. Please don't give me detention. Please, 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 please. Okay, Molly, no need to beg. You're not going to get detention. We're going on a special field trip today. If everybody will read the board, I've written where we're going on the board right here. The White House? Are you kidding me? This is going to be amazing. I wonder if the president will be there. I wonder if I could get his autograph. I wonder if I could get a picture. I wonder if I... Um, could you quit being so annoying? Um, she's just really excited, Sarah. You don't have to be rude. Well, she's really making my ears want to bleed. Ow. I have a question! I have a question! I have a question! Yes, Molly, what is it? Are they going to have snacks there? Because <laughs> I don't want to go unless they have snacks. Lots and lots of snacks. I really do hope they have snacks. I love snacks on field trips. It's my favorite. Molly, all you ever think about is snacks, snacks, snacks. Who doesn't think about snacks? They're the most amazing, delicious, happiest thing ever. Okay, Molly. Let's talk about something else. Like, what about the fact that the president uh -huh. might be here? Whatever. Ugh, I just want to hang out with my friends and Snapchat. I love field trips. Mostly because that day we don't have any homework. And that's pretty much the happiest day of my life. Whoa, look at that! Whoa, the White House is gigantic! Okay, class, everybody out. I want to give you some rules, please. Rules, rules, schmools, rules. Make me want to rules, rules. Now, we are very privileged to be invited here today as a class. Did you know only two classes a year are invited to the White House? Wow. Which means no wandering. Stay with the group. I don't care if you have to go to the bathroom. I don't care if you need a snack. I don't care if the White House is, well, well on fire. You cannot leave from the group, okay? You'll get in trouble and we could maybe go to jail. Whoa, sounds serious. Exactly. The special permission was given to us for this field trip, so don't ruin it. Molly! Me? Ruin the field trip? <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? I wouldn't do that. Uh-huh, sure you wouldn't, Molly. Sure you wouldn't. The president is very busy. You can see in his old office that he has much work to do. Molly, would you like to come into the door, please? Ow! Ow! This, this door is broken! It keeps hitting me in the face! Ow! Ay, 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 Molly. I swear, I can't take my sister anywhere, especially not the White House. Okay, guys, let's go and take a look to the left. This is normally where the secretary is for the president. Wow! Whoa! His dining room. Whoa. Kitchen. Wow, I wish my kitchen was like this. Holy guacamole. Mm, that looks so good. Molly, you're not supposed to eat the president's snacks. But I'm really hungry. When's lunch? I'm going to look in his fridge. Molly, you're going to get in so much trouble. <gasps> when Mrs. A comes, she's definitely going to get mad at you. But look at this. <laughs> Somebody made the president blueberry muffins. Mmm. They're delicious. Molly, hurry! Mrs. A is coming! Okay, gotta eat this cupcake really fast. I mean, this muffin. Or whatever it is. It's just so tasty. Mmm, delicious. What are you girls doing in here? I told you, you need to stay with the group. Molly, are you eating something? Oh, me? Nah, I'm not 
eating anything. <laughs> I was just chewing on my tongue. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> chewing on my tongue. Holy guacamole, Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh, I shouldn't have ate that muffin because I ate it too quick and now my stomach's kind of like gurgly and ugh, I don't feel so good. Well, Molly, the teacher said there's no public restroom here. It's the president's house, so you can't use his potty. Hopefully your tummy gets better soon. Yeah, Molly, it's a long way back to the school. Well, hello there. Ah, Mr. President. Wow, this is such an honor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was just coming down for a muffin. I saved one last one. <laughs> um, yeah, um, well, we don't know anything about your muffin in the refrigerator. Nobody ate it in our group. Oh, I wouldn't think you'd want to. It has so much bran in it, you'd be running to the bathroom every five seconds. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> once you get older like me, you need to eat a lot of fiber. You kids have a great time looking around the White House. Now, where did I put that muffin? <laughs> Bye, Mr. President! Nice to meet you! Oh, my God. I can't believe I ate the President's last muffin. Ah! Oh, my stomach is really hurting. Oh, boy, Molly. This isn't going to be good. But, sorry! <laughs> I can't help but laugh! Because <laughs> only you would get yourself into this predicament, Molly. Oh, oh, my stomach. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ew, Molly, did you literally just fart at the president's house? <gasps> um, better out than in? Molly, ew, somebody get some Febreze up in here. Ugh, this is lame. Ugh, what's that smell? Um, I think the pre- Um, <laughs> Sarah's laying on the floor. Uh, it's terrible, I'm dying! You're a bit dramatic. What's that smell? I think the president has a little bit of gas. Yeah, nice, Molly. Blame your problem on the president. Oh, I gotta find a potty. Gotta find one. Wait a minute, is this a potty? Oh, MG! Yes, okay, I just gotta, just gotta go in here real quick. My teacher won't even notice. Molly, what are you doing in there, you silly goose? You're not supposed to go in the president's bathrooms. Get out here. Uh-oh. Bathroom breaks will happen when we get back to the school. Along with lunch. Oh, no. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay, class, let's go take a look at the Oval Office. That's on the upstairs floor. Oh, oh. Whoa! Yeah. Molly, wow. I feel sorry that the president has to live here after you visited. <laughs> Molly, you farted the whole way up the stairs. Um, oopsie. Hold it right there. You have to make sure you are clear to go into the Oval Office. Um, okay. I heard that. Sorry, um, ate something funny for breakfast. Yeah, that's it. Try not to fart while you're in the Oval Office. The president doesn't like that. None of us like it, but we have to deal with her all the time at school. <laughs> oh, very funny, Sarah. Okay, I'll be the first one to go in. Whoa! OMG, look at this, President Brookhaven, holy guacamole, this is amazing, oh, my life is made, this is so cool, I want to go sit at the desk and pretend I'm president, uh -oh. people of Brookhaven, I now decree that there will be no more homework, and every single night you shall eat pizza, uh, Molly, good thing you're not president. What are you talking about? <gasps> Daisy, oh my god. Daisy, what did you do? I don't know, I didn't mean to push it, but whoa, there's some serious stuff going on in here. I'm out of here, you two are totally gonna get arrested. Whoa, what do you think this is about? I don't know, Molly, should we push some of the buttons? I'd love to stay and see what it does, but, but I gotta poo poo! <laughs> What's wrong with you, kid? Nothing. Um, do you have a public restroom? No, this is the president's house. Of course we don't. Okay, class. Everybody back to the school bus. Hooray! Oh! Molly, we're not all in the bus. What are you doing? Why are you driving the bus? Because this is an emergency. I have to go to the bathroom.
bathroom really bad. Wait for me! Get on, Brookie, come on! Ready to go too, but driving. Did the bus drive or drive? Can't this bus go any faster? Um, Molly, no, it's a school bus. They're very slow. Oh! Ah! I gotta go poo poo! I gotta go poo poo! Oh, uh, Molly, um, maybe you shouldn't have ate the president's brand muffin. No kidding! Oh, my stomach! We're almost there, Molly, hold on! You can do this! No, I can't! No, I can't! Uh oh! Uh oh! Molly, you're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Oh, stomach hurts so bad! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Oh, I've never been so happy to see Brookhaven School in my entire life! Huh, huh, huh. Sorry, the <coughs> bathroom's closed. Cleaning. What? No, get out! I have to go to the bathroom! Sorry, no can do. <laughs> no students allowed in the bathroom while the janitor's cleaning. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> Going crazy. <laughs> Going crazy! Gotta go, potty. Gotta go! Molly, are you okay? <laughs> Molly, what was that sound? Oh. M. G. <gasps> uh, Molly? Uh, I think you better go to the school nurse. Uh, I am humiliated right now. Oh, M. G. Gotta Snapchat this. Molly's wearing the accident pants. <laughs> What'd you do? You're poo poo in your pants, Molly? Ew, what's in the bag? Your old poo poo pants? Yeah. Uh, Sarah, it wasn't her fault. She ate the president's muffin and um, had bran in it. Oh, I'm humiliated. Oh. This has literally been the worst day of my life. Oh, no. Oh, no, not again! Not again! Oh! Ew. Okay, can I go home? Because Molly has got, like, a serious problem. Oh. <laughs> why did I eat that muffin? Oh! And this is why we follow the rules on field trips. You ate the president's brand muffin? Molly! Okay, well, let's go call your mom. It looks like you're going home. Ow. Molly, aren't you supposed to be doing your chores? Uh, yeah, but I just sat down to watch some TV. Molly, you've been watching TV off and on all day when you're not playing Roblox. Uh, I guess I'll do all the chores for you. Oh, that's sweet of you, Daisy, but I'm sure Molly can do some too. No, Mom, it's okay to do them all. I don't mind. Oh, world's best sister. Uh-huh, sure. Mom, now that I did all the chores, um, I was wondering if um, maybe perhaps I could have a sleepover? Hmm, well, you have been a very good kid. So I say yes. Wow. Really? Okay, thank you so much, Mom. Who are you going to invite, honey? I figured I'm going to invite Rosie. Good luck. You invite her like every other week and she never comes to any of your sleepovers. I don't even know why you're still friends with her. Molly, don't be rude. Yeah, Molly, just because he doesn't want to come to my sleepover. Like, ever. Doesn't mean that she doesn't want to be my friend. I think. It's okay, Daisy. Maybe she just has a reason why she doesn't want to come to your sleepover. Yeah, like she doesn't like you that much, Daisy, but she doesn't want to tell you that. Molly! Molly, why don't you go to your room for a little bit and think about being nice to your sister. Okay, that's where Roblox is anyway. Bye! Ooh. Uh, don't pay any attention to your sister. Sometimes she just has no filter. I do, but I can't help but wonder if she's right, Mom. I mean, maybe my new BFF doesn't really like uh -oh. me. Uh-oh! I wouldn't say that, Daisy. Try asking her again today. Maybe you'll have better luck. I sure hope so, Mom. I sure hope so. Hey, Rosie. I was wondering if you wanted to come for a sleepover tomorrow. <coughs> After school, of course. I'm 
sure she'll let me back any minute now. La 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 la. Hmm, I wonder if she takes me back. What? No new texts? She probably hasn't seen it yet. Ow. I'll just do a little bit of my homework. And I bet when I'm all done, she'll have texted me back. Because she definitely wants to come to a sleepover at my house tomorrow night. One hour later. Ah, <sighs> that was a ton of homework. I wonder if Rosie texts me back. What? No messages? Ooh. What, is her phone broken or something? Ay, ay, ay. She's just not texting me back. Uh, Daisy, I don't think she likes you. <gasps> Molly, quit being so rude. Did you just slam the door to my room? Daisy! Well, you're being rude. She does like me. We're like BFFs and everything. Daisy, is everything okay? You're just playing with your food. You're not really eating it. You're pushing it around on your plate. You're staring at it, but you're not actually eating it. And this is one of your favorite meals. What's going on, hon? I'm just not that hungry, I guess. May I be excused? Uh, I really wish you'd eat some of your vegetables. They're good for you. No, thank you. I just don't want me right now. She's just sad because Rosie never texted her back about her sleepover. Still? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions, honey. I'm sure it's nothing. Or it's something. But probably nothing to do with you. Yeah, right. Molly, oh my gosh. You're making your sister more upset. Yeah, Molly. Jeepers, I'm sure she'll text me. I just know it. Two hours later. Seriously? She still hasn't texted me? She's not my best friend anymore. Oh, Daisy, why don't you talk to her at school tomorrow? Maybe she's just sick with the flu or something. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't listen to your sister, Molly. She's just trying to cause trouble. Talk to your new friend tomorrow, and I'm sure she'll come to your sleepover. Good night, sweetheart. Good day, Mom. Thanks for talking to me about this. You're welcome, honey. Sweet dreams. Honey, what are you doing? It's time for school. Playing some Roblox on my phone, duh. Oh, look who it is. It's Rosie. Your frenemy. She's not my frenemy. She's my, my BFF. Your BFF never wants to do anything with you, Daisy. Okay. She does stuff with me. She just doesn't go to sleepovers. I'm sure it's a big misunderstanding. Go away, Molly. Hey, Rosie, good morning. Oh, hey, Daisy. Um, what was your weekend like? Um, well, it would have been better if you answered me about sleeping over tonight. My mom said yes. Oh, sorry, uh, I can't sleep over tonight. How about the next night? No, I can't sleep over the next night either. Okay, does your mom not want you to ever sleep over at my house ever? Why are the lights out at the school? I don't know. That's really creepy. Are we going to be getting a storm soon? No, I just think the janitor forgot to change the light bulbs. Anyway, I, I, I don't understand why you never want to sleep over at my house. Are we even friends? Um, I, I, I just can't, okay? Fine, oh wait, fine. I guess we aren't friends at all. Whoa, Daisy, I heard that whole thing. Molly, why are you eavesdropping? Well, I sort of was just walking to class, but then my foot fell asleep. No, it didn't, Molly. You were just listening. Daisy, I just, I don't want you to get hurt anymore. It seems like she just doesn't want to be your friend. She does want to be my friend. I just need to beg her more to, to come to the sleepover. I'm going to text her and beg her. Daisy, listen to me. That how to do it. Daisy, you really did beg her in text. <laughs> yes, Molly. Desperate times come with desperate measures. Besides, I like Rosie. We're so much alike. We're both nerds. We both love the color pink. Ay, ay, ay. My sister will never listen to me. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. What do you want? I thought we were going to be friends anymore. Look, Daisy. Mmm, this chocolate milk is super good today. I, I'm sorry that I never said yes to your sleepover. I had a good reason, but I don't want to lose you as my best friend. You're just like me, a flower. That's right. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. That's right. My name is Rosie, just like the flower. We were meant to be BFFs. 
So, yes, I'll come to your sleepover tonight. Really? Do you need it? Yeah. <laughs> you just seem really nice, so I trust that you won't make fun of me if something goes wrong at the sleepover. What? What could go wrong at the sleepover? It's a sleepover. It's going to be so fun. Uh-huh. Yep. It sure will be. Lots of fun. As long as you see my BFF. Of course, Rosie. We're like two beautiful flowers in the garden together. Daisy, why don't you slam the door in my face? Because you're not ruining this sleepover. You wanted to try to tell me that my best friend wasn't my best friend. Sleep outside in a tent. Daisy, open this door right now or I'm texting mom. You better not ruin my sleepover. Uh-oh. All right, I'm just saying that Rosie was acting kind of weird. I knew I should have knocked her out. Daisy, are you making any delicious food for this sleepover? No. Mom gave me permission to order DoorDash. Wow. She didn't say you could eat any. What? I'm sure she's going to let me have some of it. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Let's see. What do I want to order from DoorDash? Ooh, there's so many delicious things. Pizza, popcorn, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to order all of this. I'm totally ordering all of it. I'm celebrating because... This is the first sleepover I've had with my BFF. Would you order me, Daisy? Huh? 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 I ordered you. Close your eyes. Okay. What do you see? Nothing. Exactly! That's what I ordered you! Daisy! <laughs> well, I just want to let you know that Brookie comes over all the time as my best friend, and she never stands me up for any sleepover ever. Well, good for you. Isn't that so perfect? But right now, I have to get ready because my BFF's coming over. I want to see what movies are on. DoorDash is going to be here soon. Cooking channel? No, no, no. Ooh, gymnastics. That'd be fun to watch. She's here! Hi, Rosie. Come on in. Oh, hi, Daisy. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this sleepover. What? Who gets nervous about a sleepover? It's going to be so fun! Yeah, I hope so. Don't worry, I'm an expert at giving amazing sleepovers. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, I think the door dash is here. Ooh, this sauce smells so good. I hope you're hungry, Rosie. I got so much stuff from door dash. I'm starving. What'd you get? Pizza, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, popcorn, ice cream. Oh my gosh, how are we going to eat all that? And I got soda, orange soda, I know that's your favorite. Oh, that is my favorite, but I, I can't drink anything. What? what? Why, aren't you thirsty? Yeah, but I'll have something to drink tomorrow morning. <laughs> Don't be silly, I got orange soda, your favorite. And we can make orange soda floats with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, they're like root beer floats, but you put orange soda in. They're so good. I'm making you one right now. Wait, Daisy, I said I can't drink anything till tomorrow. It'll be okay, Rosie. Trust me. Try it, Rosie. It's so delicious. Mmm, so good. Wow, it is really good. Oh, I probably shouldn't drink any more of it, though. Don't be ridiculous. You had a sleepover. Live it up, girl. Live it up. Hey, did anybody leave me any DoorDash food? Oh, uh, yeah, Molly, there's some scraps over there in the kitchen. Hey, Molly! Hey, Rosie, glad you could finally come to a sleepover. Molly, go away, you're annoying. Uh, I live here, Daisy, so newsflash, I'm going to be here. Uh, but could you be quiet a little bit, because we're watching this movie. I love this movie so far, Daisy, it's really good. I know, right? I love it, too. Hey, hey, hey! Down in front! We can't see what's gonna happen! <laughs> Molly! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My sister's so embarrassing. I wanted this sleepover to be absolutely perfect. Don't worry, Daisy. <laughs> I don't care if your sister's here or not. See? She doesn't care. Mm, this is delicious. Even if it is just leftover DoorDash. Cute pajamas! I love them! I love polar bears on them. Wow, they're super cute, Daisy. So, um, where should I sleep? Oh, you can just sleep in the bed with me if you want. We could share. My bed is huge. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just sleep on the floor or in the bathtub or something. <laughs> the bathtub? Don't be ridiculous.
ridiculous. Do you sleep in a bathtub at home? Are you a mermaid and I don't know it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't want to take up your bed. I roll around a lot. I'm kind of a bed hog. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we're best friends. We could chill. Um, uh, 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 what are you having and hawing about? Come on, you need your booty rest. Come on. Oh, I make pancakes in the morning. What are you doing, Domville? I, I like to sleep on the floor. Your bed is way too soft. Seriously, that is so uncomfortable. My bed is the most comfortable ever. Just go to sleep, seriously. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, I am pretty tired. Me too. Ah! The house is flooding! My bed is all wet! What? The house isn't flooding. Why is my bed all wet? Um, uh, um, uh. Rosie, are you okay? Rosie, stay out, Daisy! Ew, something smells kind of weird. Ew. Ew, it's my bed. What? Did the dog come up here and pee on my bed or something? Rosie, are you okay? Rosie? Rosie? <gasps> Rosie, what are you doing? I, I, um, uh, are you wearing baby Kira's diaper? What are you doing? Are you pretending to be a baby? No. <laughs> I just am a baby. <laughs> what? You're not a baby with the same age. What are you talking about? I, I, this is why I never wanted to stay over at your house. Oh. Rosie, what's wrong? You can talk to me about anything. I'm your best friend. I promise I won't judge you. I, I have this problem where I haven't grown out of wetting the bed yet. Say what? <gasps> I know, it's so embarrassing, but it happens to some people. It's just part of something that's happening to my body. Oh, Rosie, I'm so sorry I freaked out. I didn't know that's what was happening. You should have just told me and we would have put down some plastic or something. I'm so humiliated. Don't worry, I wouldn't tell anybody. Daisy, what are you wearing? I'm really gonna do the effort that I borrowed for my BFF. Well, I have to admit, that hamster shirt is pretty adorable. Thank you, I feel like a total fashionista. Hey Daisy, did you tell anybody about last night? Of course I wouldn't tell anybody, Rosie. It's our little secret that you pee the bed. Thanks, I'm glad you haven't told anybody because it's humiliating. Well, you don't have to be humiliated about me. I'm your BFF no matter what. Besides, it's not your fault. <laughs> Isn't that a juicy little piece of news? <laughs> I got it on Snapchat, too. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite class first thing in the morning. Mine, too. This is why we're BFFs, because we both love science so much. Oh, look, I got a snap. It's from Sarah. I left my phone in my locker. What's it say? Oh my god! <laughs> what? What? What happened, Rosie? What's wrong? Oh no! Did you tell anybody that I wet the bed? Oh my god! She was recording us! OMG! I knew I shouldn't have come to your house for a sleepover! This is all your fault! What? My fault? I didn't take the Snapchat of us talking. Sarah, how could you? <laughs> well, little Miss Puddles, <laughs> I had to expose her secret. You are such a bully. Rosie, wait. Rosie. I wonder where she went. Hey, look, it's Puddles. Puddles. <laughs> oh, don't make fun of me. It's not my fault. <laughs> Have you seen um, Rosie? You mean Puddles? Don't call her that. That's rude. Like you don't have anything wrong with you, Ethel. You're not perfect. We're all human. What? Don't talk to me that way. Of course I'm perfect. I'm a bad guy. Well, you're bad at being nice. Goodbye. 
<laughs> Rosie? I could hear her crying. Rosie? <laughs> there you are, Rosie. Oh, man, Rosie, I'm sorry about all this. I'm sorry that I accused you. It really wasn't your fault. I mean, I should have just never gone to your sleepover. Why? We had so much fun. Who cares if you peed the bed? It's not your fault. I know, but it wasn't very fun the next day when everyone was making fun of me. I know, but come on. Come back to science class. Trust me, I'll stick up for you if anybody tries to bully you. Aww. You really are my best friend. Come on, Rosie, it'll be okay. You know, I want to tell you something, Rosie. I, I, I'm a little self-conscious about my speech impediment. <gasps> really? I hardly even notice it, Daisy. Well, you're the only one that doesn't. Look, I was just born this way. I'm super smart, but I just talk a little different than everybody else. And I know what it's like to be different. And how it can make you feel well less than. But don't let it. You're still amazing. Aw, thanks, Daisy. You're such a good friend. No problem. Now, come on. Let's go be awesome scientists. Well, at least try to be. Okay, who knows the answer to problem number seven? Sarah? Uh, no, I have no idea, but uh, I must have gotten some milk for lunch because stomach is just kind of like... Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, quit making excuses. You always want to leave the classroom when I call on you. Just answer number seven. I really have to go to the bathroom. No, Sarah. You always try to skip class and sometimes you succeed. You need to stay here and answer these questions or you're going to fail. Uh, uh, what was that sound? Uh, Mr. Schellberger, I think one of your experiments is bubbling over. Wait, what? Yeah, and I smell sulfur. It smells like a giant fart in you. What's going on with your science experiment? I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh! Um, I'm pretty sure she already did. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Right in the middle of class. Well, I guess now she knows what it feels like to have an accident. It could happen to anybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not going to be making fun of me after this one. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to forget that happened to you. She's going to be the new talk of the school. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, look, there's Sarah. Sir, are you going to invite us to your, your farty party? Whatever, you don't bully me. I'm the bully. Oh, maybe you can invite us to the poop parade. <laughs> I can't believe you had an accident in school. What are you, in preschool? <laughs> Whatever, I'm going home and I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> I don't know why she's so embarrassed. I mean, I fart all the time. Ew, Stephen, gross. See, Rosie, they already forgot about your drama. So, you want to come spend the night in my house again? Yeah, sure, why not? This time, I think we should put down a pee pad. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about anything, though. I totally know your secret, and I don't care at all. You're my BFF Aww. for life, Daisy. And you're my BFF, Daisy. I'm so glad you're my friend. Me too. Me too. <laughs> dinner. Um, what Molly means, Mom, is, hello, Mom. Is there anything we could help you with to make dinner? No, I think I have it. Thanks for offering, though. Is that all you girls wanted? Um, well, um, not really. I mean, since you don't really need our help, we were wondering there's a school dance tonight. And, you know, since we're the most wonderful daughters in the world, can we go? Um, no. No! Why not? Maggie, Shh. chill out. What's gonna stay a no? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I have a rock in my shoe. It's making me really grumpy. It doesn't matter what you do if you girls beg or ask me a million times. You're not going to the school dance. You're both grounded, remember? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. 
for not doing my homework and then getting a bad grade on my test. But, but, Mom, it was the only time I didn't do my homework. Daisy, you know the rules. If you want to go out and have fun and go to the school dance and hang out with your friends, you need to do your homework and you need to get good grades. Well, Mom, I didn't get that bad of a grade. I still passed, unlike Molly. Well, it's not your best, Daisy. You and I both know it. You both need to be working on your best. Now, I would like you both to go to your room and do some studying. Ugh, worst life ever! Oh, Molly, don't be so sad. Don't worry, there'll be other school dances this year. Yeah, but Luke, Luke asked me if I wanted to hang out with him at this dance. This is the first time he's ever asked that. Whoa, almost like a date. I don't know. He didn't ask me, ask me, but he said, do you want to hang out at the dance? And I said, yes. And now I can't go to the dance. Well, you could always just give him a text and tell him, oh, you're grounded. What? No. I have a much better idea. <laughs> Molly, your ideas are always bad news. I don't want to listen. I'm not going to do it. Well, then I guess you can stay here by yourself. Molly, why are you closing the door? Because I don't want Mom to hear, okay? Look, we can sneak out the window tonight and go to the school dance. Uh, don't you think that's a really bad idea? What if we get caught? Nah, my idea is bulletproof. Daisy, go get me all your stuffed animals from when you were a baby. What? Why? Because we have to make it look like we're actually in our beds. <laughs> this is going to work perfectly. Whoa, Molly! Look at the bump under the blanket. It actually looks like a person. Exactly. <laughs> Molly, you really should be a part of the baddie club. It seems to me you're a real baddie. Whoa, Daisy, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my best dance dress. <laughs> Don't I look beautiful? Yeah, you look awesome. Just look like I'm wearing a trash bag now. Oh, well, it's a lovely trash bag. <laughs> okay, Daisy, come on. Let's go sneak out the window. Are you sure this is a good idea, Molly? It's a great idea. Come on, Luke's waiting for me. Don't you want everyone to see you as this beautiful fashionista? I totally do, Molly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I told you it wouldn't be that hard to sneak out of the house. Wow, well, I guess you're right. And I didn't even whip my pretty dress. Come on, Daisy, let's go have the time of our lives at the dance. La 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 la, gonna dance with Luke. Oh, where do you think you two are going? Um, uh, to take out the trash. What trash? I don't see trash. This trash. Whoa, Molly, you're good. You're a total baddie. Ugh, that trash smells terrible. But why is Daisy wearing that dress? Um, well, I have to take it to the dry cleaners because, well, I was doing a twirl in it in my room. I spilled some soda on it. Yeah! <laughs> Jeez, Daisy. Could you come up with any better? Um, what? What did you just say? Nothing! Uh, I was just telling Daisy, you shouldn't be so clumsy. Try better. Uh, you girls were sneaking out to go to the dance, weren't you? Um, uh, it's trash, trash bag, see? Yes, we were. I can't lie to my mom. I feel terrible. Daisy! Well, you could be a baddie, Molly, but I can't. That's it. Time to bring in the enforcer. The enforcer? What do you mean by that? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. Uh-oh. Mom, I don't know what you mean by the enforcer, but I'm really sorry. I, I I just really wanted to go to the school dance because Luke asked to meet me there, and it was sort of like, well, um, a date? What? You had a date? Whoa, impressive. But anyway, you're still grounded. And the enforcer is about to be here any minute. I don't like the sound of that. It sounds like kind of crazy, Mom. There she is now. Well, have fun, girls. I'm going to the mall to go shopping. Mom, is the mall even open anymore? That's not a thing, Mom. Everybody uses Amazon. Mom! She likes going to the mall. She's old school like that, Molly. Plus, I think she wants to avoid us. Uh, Daisy, I'm not sure what Mom meant by the enforcer, but I'm a little afraid to look down the hallway. Hello? Is anybody here? 
Um, that was what just walked through the door. It's a baddie! OMG, are you our babysitter? Her makeup is so pretty. Whatever, you little losers. Did she just call us a loser? No, she called you a loser. No, she called you a loser. No, she called you a loser. You a loser. You a loser. You a loser. You're both losers. Now be quiet. You're making my ears bleed. Whoa, <laughs> you're kind of rude. Did you just call me rude? <laughs> Amazing. That's like the best compliment ever. Uh, what's your name there, baddie? You don't get to know my real name. You're such a loser. I don't think so. How about you call me Queen? Um, okay, Queen. Daisy, do you, do you hear that? Molly, I think it's a ghost that lives in our house. What? You have a ghost that lives here? Yeah, a headless ghost. So creepy. Molly, I th I think it's upstairs and it's, it's coming down the stairs. What? Your mother didn't tell me about this. She just told me two little brats needed to be kept in the line. Um, yeah, the ghost is coming right for us. It's hiding behind the plant. But maybe that giant spider, Molly. Nope, it's definitely the ghost. What? Okay, I'm just gonna try to pretend that didn't happen because I'm a baddie, so I'm not really afraid of anything. Uh-huh, sure you're not. It's coming right for you, lady. Queen, I mean. Ooh. All right, I'm just, I'm freaking out right now. Turn on the TV so I don't have to think about this. Okay, bossy. Ooh, the cooking show. Oh, that one doesn't come in. Must be the ghost is getting a hold of that channel. <laughs> yeah, Molly, sometimes the ghost really does affect the television. Don't sit next to me, smelly. No, oh, sorry. Oh, she is so rude. So, um, Queen, what should we do for fun? Brush my hair. Um, okay, yeah, I'm a fashionista. I love brushing hair. Ugh, oh, whatever. Just don't pull out any of my... Ow! Why are you brushing my hair so hard? That really hurt. You stink at brushing hair. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hurt Daisy's feelings. That's not, that's not nice to say, Queen. I don't care if it's nice to say. You little brats need to be put in line. Is there a weird ghost, like, literally doing the chicken dance over my shoulder? If there is, slam the like button. And you, loser, are going to make me a delicious snack. Uh, okay. I can make snacks. I'm good at making snacks. That's, like, my definite thing is to make snacks. Um, all we have is, like, healthy stuff. Well, except for those carrots. Ew, they're brown. I could make her a smoothie with those brown carrots in it. <laughs> I'm going to make you a delicious smoothie. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yes, please make me one. Hurry up. <laughs> we interrupt this crazy and dramatic story so that I can do the chicken dance with this ghost. Well, what? Now you're not going to do the chicken dance? Nope. Come on, you've been doing it for the entire video. Come on, come on. What are you waiting for? Do the chicken dance, headless ghost. What? It turned into a person? Okay, I'm sorry about this, but I have to kick you out. <laughs> Time for you to get out of my house. Get over here! You gotta get out of my house! I'm making a story right now. It's a good role play. Get out, get out, get out, get out of my house, please. Hey, you weren't invited. You can't just you just can't come in here whenever you want. Get out! Get out! I'm kicking you out. I'm kicking you right in the butt. You gotta get out. Oh, come on now! Ugh. It wasn't a ghost after all, guys. It was just this other player who is like stalking me in my house. What are you doing? Get back to the story that's all about me, me, and me. Molly, can you please get with the program here? Hey, my arm's about to fall out. I'm trying to, but the screw's in her house. Get out. I have to take care of this baddie, and, and she's, she's going to ground me for life. Come on, girl. Okay, I think I figured out how to lock her out of my house in Barry Avenue. Ah, no, she's back. Okay, okay. Um, Let me see. Let me just, like, change her access, I guess. I'm asking you so nicely. Quit doing the chicken dance on my on my table. In my coffee table. Okay, let's try this again. My door is locked. Oh, I locked the door. Now she's going to get away. Okay, bye. Oh, okay, quick, lock the door. Lock it. Oh, phew. Yeah, very.
very funny. Where is my smoothie, you little brat? It's right here. Lots of fresh, delicious carrots in it. Super good for you, queen. Great, sounds delicious. Daisy, you can stop brushing your hair. She's not there anymore. Uh, my arm just won't stop doing this. It's been doing it for so long. It's stuck doing it. You guys are such weirdos. Is it good? Huh? <laughs> I put some chocolate chips in there, too. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, you little brat. <laughs> we'll see who's a brat. Daisy, are you okay? Can't move frozen from brushing hair too many times. Oh, Daisy. Well, I guess Daisy's going to be living there for the rest of the day. I don't think so. Ooh. You two have to give me a makeover. My makeup is starting to melt off. Don't you guys have air conditioning? Nah, mom says it costs too much money. We don't live somewhere that hot. Whatever. My makeup needs to be perfect at all times. Ugh, is that what you look like when your makeup wears off? You have like a zit on your eyeball. Uh -oh. What? What did you just say to me? Molly, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Ew, her zits look like they need to get popped. And you're just the girls to do it. Okay, lady, I draw the line at zit popping. I don't think so. I'm out of here. Molly, what are you doing? Hurry, Daisy, we're going to lock the door. Come on. She doesn't know how to unlock the door because she doesn't have the key. Daisy, you're so slow. What are you doing? Well, I'm sorry, Molly. I'm a little tired from brushing your hair a million times. You girls better let me in right now. I have some pimples you need to pop. Ew, gross. Make me want to barf. <laughs> Ew, so gross. Oh, little pigs, let me in. Not by the pimples on your chinny chin chin. What? That's it. Oh, my stomach feels kind of weird. What did you put in that smoothie? Uh-oh, gotta go potty. Bye. Molly, what did you put in that smoothie? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how sometimes we buy healthy food at the grocery store and we're like, we're going to eat healthy this week? Yeah, sometimes I do. Yeah, but mostly there's stuff that gets stuffed way in the back of the drawer of the refrigerator and then it turns into a science experiment. Yeah, yeah meaning it gets moldy and bad and gross. Yeah, literally, it is the grossest thing ever. It grows fur. Ooh. Well, yeah, I just served her some carrots like that. You, Molly, she's probably going to be in the bathroom for hours. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> oh. Who's the baddie now there, queen? You, Molly, always, always you. Alarm's going off already? Ugh. I can't believe the night is over already. Feels like I just fell asleep. Feels like I want to go back to sleep. Ah, where's the snooze button? Where's the snooze button? Ugh, well, I guess it's time to get up. Daisy! Daisy! Must be Daisy's not out of bed yet. Better go wake her up. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Daisy, wake up! What are you talking about? Be quiet, servant! Servant? What, what are you talking about, Daisy? I'm not your servant. Get out of bed, lazy bones! Molly, be quiet! You're my servant, and servants are not supposed to be loud. Are you turning that light back off, Daisy? Um, yes, be quiet. Why are you calling me your servant? Daisy, leave the light on! I'm not your servant. Well, I'm a princess, and yes, you are. <laughs> You're a princess. 
Very funny. Since when did you become a princess? Since I got my online certification. Your online certification is a princess? <laughs> what are you wearing? My princess outfit, of course. Daisy, your princess outfit, are you crazy right now? Nope, I got the email notification last night that I'm officially a princess. Oh, really? Um, show me this email. I don't believe it. Not for one second. Fine, but then you will act as my servant. Oh, my goodness. What's a princess got to do to just get a little respect around you? Okay, here it is. Dear Daisy, you are now officially a princess. See? Told you. Who's this by? Online princess school? What? That's right! Now make me breakfast! This is ridiculous. I am not making you breakfast. Then you shall be banished from the Roblox kingdom! Okay, fine. I'll make you breakfast. I think this is more like a spoiled princess. And make it a good breakfast, Molly. I mean it. Okay, I'm going to make you a really good breakfast. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Molly? Now I have to be reading up on all of the proper princess etiquette. First, have a healthy breakfast. An example might be eggs and fruit. Or you take whatever I make you, which is this. Molly, are you serious? A black tart? Princesses don't eat black tarts. Well, this princess does, or this princess can make her own breakfast. Rude servant, go to your servant quarters, or you will be banished from the kingdom. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me just take a black star to go. Absolutely not. Go to your dungeon. Dungeon? This doesn't seem very dungeony to me. Goodbye, princess. Oh, my gosh, she's following me. Okay, I gotta hide. Servant, servant, there's a lot of laundry to do. Oh my god, could this princess be any more spoiled? Servant, where are you? What do you want? You slammed the door in the princess's face. In a minute, I'm going to slam the door to the outside on the princess's face. You better not. You wouldn't do. You will go to the dungeon and be banished from the kingdom. Banished from the kingdom. Not sure, so sure that would be a bad thing. Do the laundry. Fine. Ew, it's really smelly. I will be outside relaxing. Don't bother me. Daisy, I don't like you as a princess. And I don't like having the burden of having to tell my servant to be a servant. Wow, could she be any more spoiled? Slam the like button if you think Daisy is the most spoiled princess on the planet. Oh, I can't believe I got to do all these chores. Maybe I'll just, like, relax in the pool after I'm done. I can't deal with this spoiled princess one second more. <sighs> oh, water's cold. Water's cold. Servant, go and pay the bills. A uh, princess, do you have any money? No, I'm a princess. Why would I have money? Um, all of the riches belong to you. You need to pay the bills. No, you pay the bills. Oh my gosh, now I'm the servant and I have to pay the bills? Why do I even put up with this? I'm moving to a new house. You better not, servant. I'll have them come after you and you'll be put in prison. See you later, spoiled princess brat. <laughs> That's it. And stay there until you can think about what you've done. Daisy, what are you doing? Why did you have why did you have your minions put me in here? Because what the princess says, it goes, Molly, and uh, what I say goes, and I'm the princess. That's what I meant. Daisy, all I have in here is a toilet and a sleeping bag. Where's the cupcakes? Ah, uh, servants don't get cupcakes, only princesses. Oh man. Oh I guess I'll just take a nap. Right next to the toilet. My life is terrible. What was that? What was that sound? Oh my gosh, I think there's rats or mice or something in here. Daisy, let me out! Daisy! Wait a minute. I think I can pick the lock. <laughs> I'm out of here. Let's go check on the Sylvan. See if she needs any gruel for lunch. 
I'm gonna lock her out of the castle. <laughs> okay, where is she? I think she's in here. <gasps> Locking the door! <laughs> Best day ever. What? Servant! Open the door to the castle right this instant! I don't think so, you spoiled brat! <gasps> How dare you call the princess such names! Listen, princess, if you want a servant, find a new one. I live here because I'm the queen. <gasps> you are not! Uh huh. I'm about to go get my certification right now. Let me in right this instant, Molly! Not a chance. Okay, online queen school. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of requirements here. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> My online queen certification is complete. Oh, that took a really long time. Now I need a bath. Ah. <sighs> Oh, she's back to calling me Molly. <laughs> That's good. I just had the locksmith come and replace the locks on the door. Listen here, princess. Now I'm an official queen. Yeah, boy, you couldn't pass the classes. Really? Wanna bet? I have the email. Now, since the queen is most powerful, I demand you go sit in time out for being such a spoiled brat. What? Me? In time out? I can't. I'm such a pretty princess. I don't belong there. Go! Before the queen banishes you from the kingdom. Oh, brother. I know telling you where I got my princess certification from was a bad idea. <laughs> queen Molly is now in charge of the entire kingdom. Ha 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 ha! Don't say no before you hear me out, okay? Rookie, what is it? I have so many chores to do today, honey. Mom, I know you always say no to me having sleepovers, but, but, but... Ah, oh, Brookie, not this again. Every weekend, honey, I told you, no sleepovers. But, Mom, I've been doing so good in school. I've been studying, doing all my homework, getting perfect grades. Please, we'll follow your rules. Just let me have Molly and Daisy over, please. Ah, Brookie, all right, yes, you can have a sleepover this one time. Seriously, Mom? Are you serious? Yes, I get to have a sleepover. Do, 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 do. But you must follow all of the rules. Yes, I know, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. I promise. If you don't, no more sleepovers. Okay, Mom, we'll follow all the rules. Just let me be happy, okay? All right, Brookie, I've got a lot of chores to do. <sighs> Make sure you call your friends and let them know. I will, Mom. Hey, what's up? Molly, is that your new way of answering the phone? No one ever calls me, so I don't really know how to answer a phone. I usually just text. Well, um, you might want to work on it a little bit because that was kind of funny. That's exactly my personality. Funny. Hey, what's up? So, yeah, what is actually up? Why are you calling me? Why didn't you just text me? Because I'm too excited. I have to tell you, like, well, not in person, but, like, so you can hear my voice. My mom finally agreed to a sleepover. Say what? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> it only took me two years of asking and begging every weekend. She finally said you guys can come over for a sleepover tonight. Are you and Daisy busy? Doesn't matter what our plans are. We'll be there. Daisy! 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 What? What are you yelling at me for, Molly? I'm not yelling. I'm, I'm excited at yelling, I guess. Okay, Molly, calm down. What is it? Brookie just called me. And then, and then, and then, her mom finally said she could have a sleepover. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Really? When? Like next year? Next 10 years? When did she say? Tonight! Really? Oh my gosh, we're finally having a sleepover at Brookie's house. Yeah, we've got to pack a bag. We have to be there in 30 minutes. What? I'll never be ready in time. I have so much to pack. Daisy, all you need is a pair of pajamas. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't you be ridiculous. I'm a fashionista. I'm Daisy and I must always be dressed perfectly. Daisy, no one cares what you're wearing to the sleepover. It's just going to be the three of us. I still want to look amazing for it. Okay, Daisy, if you say so. I'm 
I'm just gonna grab some, uh, some pajamas out of the dirty clothes. Ew, Molly! Yeah, I sort of forgot to do my laundry. <laughs> hey, guys! Welcome to my house! Come on in! Uh, 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 uh! Stop right there! What, what, what did I do? You have to take your shoes off and then wash your feet in this bucket, please. Oh, Mom, not the bucket, please! Ugh, it's so embarrassing! I just had these floors put in and they are perfect. I don't want any scuff marks or dirt on them ever. I have some indoor shoes you girls can wear. They're brand new, so you won't get anything on them. Whoa, would you have them in my size? Of course I do! <laughs> All right, so just stick your feet in the bucket, please. You can leave your, your bags right over there. Oh my gosh, your mom is really, well, strict. I know, I know, don't remind me. Okay, just gotta get my other foot. Okay, Daisy, your turn. Wow, I never met such a neat freak before. Yeah, that's just how my mom is. Come on, guys, Um, let's go make a snack. Ooh, snacks, my favorite. Hey, Brookie's mom, uh, what kind of snacks you got? We have healthy food, like apples and bananas and we'll take some popcorn so we can watch a movie um popcorn is really messy mom come on it's my first sleepover everyone has popcorn at sleepovers it's true pretty much everybody does have popcorn at sleepovers okay girls i'll have the vacuum ready um all right <laughs> whoa your mom really is kind of strict brookie I know, don't remind me. Oh, this popcorn is delicious. Come on, guys, let's go watch the movie. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. What, what's that sound? That's the alarm. You are not supposed to be eating in the living room. And it's the alarm to tell you to stop immediately. But we're about to watch a movie. Brookie, uh, what's going on here? Um, Mom doesn't allow us to eat in the living room. Well, how do you eat popcorn when you're watching a movie? You don't. You just eat your popcorn in the kitchen and then you come watch the movie afterwards. But that's not how you watch a movie. Molly, don't say anything. We don't want to get Bookie in trouble. Okay, Bookie Mom, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, eat our popcorn out here. Yeah, we'll eat our popcorn out here. Sorry my mom is so strict, guys. I I'm really sorry about this. It's not your fault, Brookie. <clears throat> not here. Have some popcorn and don't worry about it. I hope she doesn't ruin your sleepover. Our sleepover, Brookie, and of course she won't. We're all together, and that's all that matters. Brookie, don't forget to vacuum up if there's any popcorn kernels on the floor. I don't think I dropped any. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. I made a total mess. <laughs> don't worry about it, Molly. I'll vacuum everything. Ah, <sighs> so much for relaxing at my sleepover. Molly, maybe we should have had a sleepover at our house. Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. This is very important to Brookie to have it at her house. We're going to support her, even if her mom is kind of crazy strict. Let's watch this movie, everybody. Which movie should we watch? Ooh, this one about kittens and puppies. So adorable. Should we watch... <gasps> the new Brook High movie is out. Do you guys want to watch it? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Brookie. Turn that frown upside down. It's going to be a great movie. Ah, perfect. My tummy's all full of popcorn. We're watching the Brook High movie. This is going to be amazing. That movie is entirely too loud. You girls are going to hurt your ears. Turn it down. But it's a movie. We're supposed to listen to it loud. Besides, you have this really cool sound system in your house. I know. I had it. Pay I had paid to have it installed. Except for we never use it, Mom. Um. Okay, well, they installed it, so it's really loud. It's okay, um, Bookie's mom, we'll just turn it down, no problem. Okay, girls, well, enjoy your movie. Quietly. See what I mean? She's going to ruin everything. Don't say that, Bookie. Everything's gonna be okay. We're having a great time, right, Molly? You betcha, Brookie. Perfect time. Thanks for saying that, guys. It makes me feel a lot better. Oh, no, guys, it's 9 o'clock. We have to go to bed. What? But the last 15 minutes of Brook High is on. That's right, girls. 9 o'clock bedtime and no chit-chat after you go to sleep. Um, well, maybe we won't go to sleep till midnight. <laughs> I don't think so. You should be asleep by 9.15 after you brush your teeth, that is. Wow. Um, what if you can't fall asleep? That's not an option, Molly. Mom always has us go to sleep at 9.15 sharp. And you're wasting time, girls. But we didn't even get to see the end of Brook High. In this movie, I've been wanting to see it for like three months. Sorry, maybe you can watch it another time. But it's the last 15 minutes. Come on! 
No, Molly, if you like to spend the night at our house ever again, I suggest you listen to my rules. Um, okay, I'll go brush my teeth and get my pajamas on. Oh, man, we <coughs> packed the same pajamas. Oh, we look adorable twinsies. Oh, I hate when we look like twinsies. Ha, 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 Molly. Whoa, you guys look like twins. Yeah, don't remind me. Oh my, those pajamas won't do. What? Why? Don't we look adorable? We look like twins? Um, no. You look like you're going to be freezing all night. I keep the temperature as exactly 60 degrees. What? But it's like 20 degrees outside. We'll be cold. That's why we always wear wool pajamas to bed. It saves on the heating bill. But, but wool pajamas are going to be itchy. Ugh. I'll be up all night scratching. Well, Bricky wears them without complaint. Uh-huh, yep, I do. I have some extra pairs you girls can wear. Now it's already getting late, so I want you to get changed and go right to sleep. Uh, okay, lady. I feel like we're in prison. We're all wearing the same outfit. You all look perfectly identical. I love it. You'll stay super warm tonight. Okay, Brookie, you take the top bunk. Molly, you can take the bottom. Daisy, the sleeping bag will, bag will be nice and toasty for you. Good night, girls. Uh, good night, Brookie's mom. Ugh, Brookie. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have invited you over. I'm feeling really sad that, well, I haven't had a very good sleepover. Nonsense, Brookie. We know it's not your fault. And we still had fun, right, Daisy? Marty, don't keep talking. Her mom seems kind of queasy. And, well, she said no talking. We have to go right to sleep. Well, pff, I'm sorry, but I can't go right to sleep. That's just not how I am. I'm coming up there, Brookie. Um, Molly, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I feel kind of sad for you, Brookie. I mean, your mom is so strict. I know she is. I love her, but why does she got to be so strict all the time? She needs to have some fun once in a while. Brookie, I know exactly what's going to make you feel better. Let's turn that frown upside down. Molly, seriously, be quiet. Oh, she can't hear us. The door is closed anyway. I have a, a great joke for you. What did the Dalmatian dog say after lunch? What, Molly? What did it say? <laughs> that hit the spot. <laughs> Molly, that was hilarious. <laughs> what is all this commotion about in here? Uh-oh, warned you guys. What? Molly, you're out of bed and Brookie, you're laughing? That's it. You're grounded and you're never having a sleepover ever again. No, but, 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 Brookie's mom, d -d don't do this. It wasn't Brookie's fault. Please, Brookie's mom, d -d don't ground her. It was my fault. Well, maybe I should call your mom and get you grounded as well. What? No, okay, no, that's taking a little too far. Mom, it's okay. I'll just be grounded and, and never have a sleepover again. What? No, Brookie! Look, Brookie is my best friend, and I know I'm just a kid, and you don't have to listen to me, but I think you're being really mean. I mean, you're being too strict. I mean, it's a sleepover. Kids are supposed to have fun at a sleepover. We're supposed to eat popcorn on the couch and 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 leave a mess that we can clean up in the morning and, and do crafts and finish the movie. And then we're supposed to stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning giggling and talking. And it doesn't matter if you don't get any sleep because... We're having fun, and the world revolves around us, okay? We only get to be kids once, and you're taking this special time from your daughter. Do you want to do that, lady? I mean, look at your daughter's face. She's super unhappy. Can't you just let her have this one night to be happy? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that being a strict mom was making her so unhappy. Yeah, and it's making me unhappy, too, because I wanted to finish the rest of that movie, and I didn't get to. Molly, you're getting off the subject. Anyway, I care about my friend, and I want her to be happy. She's not saying she won't clean up in the morning. She's not saying she won't get good grades. She's not saying any of that. She's a really good kid. Actually, she kind of makes me look bad, because I don't do my homework nearly as much as she does. But, but anyway, like, can you just give her a break? Oh, my God. Brookie, come down here, please. Oh, great. My pep talk didn't work. Brookie's still going to get grounded. It's all my fault. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry. I I'll do anything you want. Just just don't be mad at me. Oh, Brookie. I think I've been making some mistakes as your mom. What? A grown-up apologizing? 
I must be hearing things. Bricky, I thought by being strict I could keep you safe and successful in life. But the truth is, is everyone needs to have fun sometimes. And it hasn't been fair of me to just, well, control your life like crazy. Plus it's exhausting. I think you should start being in control of your own life a little. Really, mom? Are you, are you saying that I'm not grounded? No, you're not grounded. And you girls can come out and watch the rest of your movie. Whoa. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. A grown up actually listened to what I had to say. I thought it was pretty smart. I can tell that you and Molly are BFFs, and of course Daisy too. <laughs> oh, she so cannot hang. Seriously, she's already sleeping over there. Well, you two can go finish the movie, and you can even eat popcorn on the floor, not on the couch. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some. And, and you should vacuum up the crumbs in the morning and... Mom, you're getting strict again. Okay, sorry. Trying to chill. <laughs> Maybe I should go take a bubble bath and just try to relax. Yeah, I find eating a chocolate bar helps with that too, Brookie's mom. <laughs> Molly, do you actually know what my mom's name is? No, I just call her Brookie's mom. That's her name to me. <laughs> okay, Molly, well, let's go watch the rest of our movie. Daisy, are you going to come? Yes, not. It's just you and me, Brookie. You and me. Wait, I went into the wrong room. How do I get out of here? I'm stuck. Molly, what took you so long? Your house is really big. I kind of got lost. <laughs> now, let's eat some more popcorn and watch the end of Brook High. Sounds good, Molly. Hey, thanks for standing up for me. No problem, Brookie. Molly, remember you have to sit on the floor if you want to eat some popcorn. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs> La 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 Mmm, this dinner smells delicious, doesn't it, baby Kira? Oh, sweetheart, is that cold getting you down? I don't like being sick. Well, this delicious and nutritious dinner should make you feel so much better. I want you to hold me. I can't hold you right now. I'm I'm trying to make dinner. I can't get my Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Yes, Daisy. I'm a little busy making dinner and dealing with the fact your sister is sick. Well, you want to know this. Molly is driving me crazy. She even tried to pull my pigtails, and she said that I was being a too. What? What did she say? A tooth. Oh my goodness. Daisy, you tattletale. You always have to tell mom everything that happens between us. And, 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 and I just, ugh. Come here, Daisy. Girls, stop, stop this right now. Get back here, Daisy. I'm, I'm going to get you, Daisy. And what I do, girls. Oh my gosh. I can't even right now. I'm, I'm definitely going to need to call some help. I wonder if the babysitter's available. Girl, girls! I don't think so, Molly. You stay away from me. You put my pigtails and call me names. Ugh, I have a good mind to ground you both. But I didn't do anything. I didn't take your body. I did your Huh, I just need a break for a minute. Oh. Hi, Maggie's babysitting service. What can I do for you? Oh, hey, Molly. Maggie, it's Mrs. Zacker, and, well, uh, I'm just having, like, the worst day ever. I have so much work to do for my job. My daughter, my littlest daughter is sick. I'm trying to make dinner. My oldest daughters are fighting. My husband's away for a work training, and I could just really use you for a couple of hours. Can you come in? <gasps> what? I can barely hear you. Sorry, I'm going to Jamaica vacation right now, uh -oh. and, um... I'm nowhere near Brookhaven. Oh, okay, thanks anyway, Maggie. Bye. Uh, maybe Susie's available. All right, let's try this one. Yo, what's up? It's Susie. I'm not going to be home for a week because I'm on vacation. What? Is everybody taking a vacation in January? Doesn't anybody work anymore? Oh, well, this leaves me no choice but to call their grandma. My 
mother-in-law is, well, sort of a Karen, even though her name isn't really Karen. But anyway, ah, she's the only one that'll be available. Hello? Oh, hi, it's your daughter-in-law, and I could really use some help. Why? You can't manage your own children. Well, I mean, yeah, I can, but I'm trying to make dinner, and I have work, and um, baby Kira's got a cold, and the older girls are fighting, and could you come over for a couple of hours? Oh, I see. So your children are extra naughty. I'll handle that. Hello? Um, are you coming over? Hello? This is war, Molly. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what I'm doing? I don't know, but you're not going to win. I can buy you a Holy guacamole, what are you two girls doing? Put those things down right now. Your grandmother's on her way. You mean your mom? No, your dad's mom. What? No, she, she, she can't come over here. Uh, Molly, I think that we could just get along, right? I don't know about that. You're really annoying. But you're annoying too. And this is precisely why your grandmother is coming to watch you. Oh, no. Everybody knows that we have the strictest grandmother in the entire world. Never fear. Your grandmother is here. Well, good. Maybe you can tell Daisy to be, um, like, a little less annoying by, like, a thousand percent. Me annoying? You're the one that blah, 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 blahs all the time. You never stop talking, not evil. Uh -oh. And your stomach never stops growling evil. Okay, girls, that's quite enough. The next person that complains is grumpy, has a sour attitude, or fights, will be, um, cleaning out the toilets. Say what? Granny, you bonkers. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not cleaning out a toilet. <sniffs> Molly, you farted. Maybe you need to use the toilet. <laughs> hey, don't tease me. I had a bean burrito for lunch. I feel good, yeah. Well, you can complain a little bit because you're sick. That's totally acceptable. But you bigger girls, there's nothing wrong with you. Now get to doing your homework. Homework, small work. Triple bar, won't work. Really, Molly, that didn't even make sense. That's what I mean. You always yak, yak, yakin. Shh, I'm trying to concentrate on this math homework. It's very difficult. It's making my brain feel like it's going to melt. Well, I'm done with my homework, so I could just sit here and play on my iPad. Blah, blah, blah. Don't sit next to me. You're sitting too close. You're annoying. What? No, I'm not. Why can't I sit here? You smell like a like a stinky monkey. You're so rude. How come you're even my sister? Get back here. I'm going to pull your pigtails. Oh, my. You girls, stop that right now, or both of you will be scrubbing the toilet. But, but Grandma. She's being so annoying. She's being so annoying. You know what? I warned you girls. And now I can see not even scrubbing toilets is going to solve this problem. So I've decided that for the next two 24 hours, you're both grounded to your room. Say what? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I was right and you're wrong. I said both of you, Daisy. Wait, what? But we share a room. That would mean we'd both be stuck in the same room together for 24 hours. Are you crazy? I'm as serious as a heart attack. Whoa, that does sound serious, Grandma. That's right. I will bring you your meals in your room. Neither one of you are to leave. What if you have to go potty? You get a one-minute pass. To go to the bathroom? But sometimes if you've eaten a bean burrito, I need more than a minute. Well, then, you will have to spend 48 hours in your room. No, a minute's good. A minute's good. I can't believe I'm being punished. What did I ever do? You just merely exist, Daisy. You just merely exist. You two are going to learn to like each other. Or you're going to fight the entire time, but I won't have to hear it. I'm just going to close your door and turn down the volume on my hearing aid. <laughs> 
Oh, Grandma. <sighs> now I know why I like Susie the babysitter better. This half of the room is my half. And that half of the room is your half. Well, what happens if my bed is on your half? Well, I guess you don't get to sleep in it then, do you? Molly, you are the most annoying sister ever. Ditto, Daisy. Ditto. Molly, are you seriously jumping on my bed? You should be grounded. Too late. Already am. And you're stuck in this room with me. <laughs> Please help me. Please, anyone, SOS. No one can save you, Daisy. That's it. I'm going to get even with you, and you're not going to like it. You get even with me? <laughs> That's laughable. Good night. I'm going to sleep. Good luck trying to sleep, Molly. I'm about to do my workout. One, two, three, four. La, 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 la. Well, breathe in this one. Oh, Molly, I'm stuck in this room with you. Yep, and there's more bean burritos where that one came from. <laughs> ah, my life is over. I can't deal with this anymore. How have I been cursed with such an evil sister? Ah. <laughs> I'm the winner. I'm the winner. There's no winner here, Molly. We're both losers. This is so annoying. Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to practice my drumming. Daisy, you don't even know how to be a drummer. Well, I think that'll annoy you the most. Well, well, I'm eating more bean burritos. Drum solo. Ew, what's that smell? Molly, you're gassing out the whole room. <laughs> I win. I'm the most evil sister. Not a chance, Molly. I got more with... <coughs> okay, Molly. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> That's it. I got to make something smell better in you. These are lavender scented tiki torches. Uh-oh. Dizzy, you can't use tiki torches inside. I'll use anything to get rid of that stinky bean burrito smell. One minute, 37 seconds later. Are you serious right now? I locked you in your room so you behave and you caught the house on fire? That's it. I quit. Okay, class, for the most part, everyone's grades on this test were really, really good. Well, except for a certain somebody. Molly, uh, will you stay after class, please? Uh-oh! Who? Me? Why me? I don't need to stay after class. I think we all know why you need to stay after class, Molly. Daisy, be quiet. You're such a goody two-shoes. No one cares what you have to say. Ow. Okay, Molly, that's enough. Unless, of course, you'd like to go to the principal. Uh-oh! No! No, I don't need to go to the principal. Staying after class is bad enough. Mrs. Smith, you wanted to see me after class? Yes, Molly, I did want to see you after class. Your test score is, again, terrible. <gasps> All of your test scores have been atrocious this year. If I don't start seeing an improvement in your grades... I'm afraid I'm going to have to fail you for the year. Say what? Fail me for the year? I, 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 I wouldn't be with my best friend Brookie in class anymore. I, I would be a year behind. No, no, this can't be happening. Molly, I'll give you one more opportunity to get a good test score, or I'm afraid it's inevitable. You are going to have to repeat this grade again. Hey there, Molly. It's pizza day, your favorite. I'm not really very hungry. What? You never stop being hungry. Do you have the stomach bug? No, just not hungry. <gasps> Molly, what's wrong? Oh my god, are you okay? No. I just got this test score and it's another failing grade. Mrs. Smith said 
even if I get one more bad test score, I'm gonna fail for the year. Holy guacamole! You gonna fail for the entire year? That's not good, Molly. All those times I told you to do your homework. Daisy, stop lecturing me right now. Can't you see? I'm super sad. I have to agree with Molly right now, Daisy. I don't know if lecturing her is gonna be the best thing. She is really upset. Well, Molly, there's only one thing to do. What? Run away? No, Molly, not run away. You can't run away from your problems. You have to face them. And since I'm your sister, and I'm the smartest girl in the school, I'll tutor you. Wow. What? I don't think so. Molly, come on. You know that I can help you. Molly, I think you should take your sister up on this offer. She definitely can help you. Okay, Molly, just log into the account for school. Molly, why are you on Roblox? Because it's going to be so much more fun. I give up. Ooh. Molly, you can't give up. You're going to fail for the year. Seriously, log in. All right, fine. You're the worst student ever. Uh -oh. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. Maybe you're the worst sister ever. Molly, do you want my help or not? Yes, I want your help. I guess. Okay. Now let's look at this first math problem. Is the answer A, B, or C? Um, uh, uh. Molly, why are you making that weird face? Did Ooh. you eat a big burrito today? No, my brain is just working extra, extra, extra hard. <laughs> I got it, it's B. What? No, that's Ignoramus Ansel. That's not it at all. It's A. Oh, what? No, it's not. It's B. My brain worked really hard to calculate that. Yeah, and it calculated it wrong. No wonder you keep failing. Hey, if you're going to be rude, then then I don't have to have you help me. Uh-oh. Buddy, just sit down and do what I tell you to. I don't think so, Daisy. I think I'd rather be in a different universe than you. What? I'm just trying to help you. By calling me Ignoramus? That's just rude. Go away, Daisy. <coughs> Molly, you're going to fail. Get back here. You're not in charge of me, Daisy. You're not my boss. Oh, my sister is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do, but she can't be my tutor. I need to find a bigger brain than Daisy. One that's not so mean either. Who has a bigger brain than Daisy? Ha-ha! <laughs> I know! Abigail! She's the biggest nerd in our school. All I have to do is become best friends with her and all my troubles will be over. Hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie, I don't have time right now. Uh, when has she not had time for me? I'm her BFF. Uh, maybe she just had to run to the bathroom or something. Yeah. There's Abigail. Who would have guessed she's in the study area, making your brain even bigger than it already is. Hey, Abigail. Um, hi. Uh, your best friend isn't here right now. Huh, what? No, I'm here to talk to you. What? You've never talked to me before in your life. I know, but I want to talk to you right now. You seem so cool. You want to be my best friend? What? No. Can't you see I'm doing something? I'm figuring out some math calculations. What? We didn't have math homework. I know. I just do this for fun. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. How do you think my brain is the biggest in the school? <gasps> Don't let my sister Daisy hear you that. She'd be super jealous if she knew you were the one that had the biggest brain. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Really? You think I have the biggest brain in the whole school? Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, you want to sit by me at lunch today? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Perfect. See you then, Abigail. Abigail! Over here, over here! Uh-huh, I see you, Molly. I saved you a seat! Oh, thanks so much. Want some pizza? No, I can't have any pizza. It has pepperoni on it. I'm allergic to pepperoni. Whoa, that really stinks. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have a banana. Molly, hey, I didn't get to see you this morning. Uh, Brookie, sorry, that seat's taken. What? I always sit by you at lunch. Yeah, but not today. Abigail is sitting there. Molly, you always saved me a seat. You didn't save me a seat? No, sorry. 
But, but, you're gonna have to get up. Uh, hurry, Abigail's coming back. Okay, fine. Abigail, there, your seat's, your seat's empty. Okay, there you go. So why did you want to sit by me at lunch, Molly? Hey, Pookie, what's, what's going on? Whoa, you look really sad. Are you okay? No, not really. There's something really weird going on with your sister. Tell me about it. She's a real ignoramus. She didn't even want me to, to tutor her. She just wants to fail for the year, I guess. Wait, what? She didn't have you tutor her? And she doesn't want me as her best friend anymore. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like Bookie. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, well, she didn't want to talk to me this morning. She was too busy. And she didn't save me a seat at lunch either. What has gotten into her? The reason why I wanted to sit by you at lunch is because I think you're so cool. And I think we should be good friends because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You and I have nothing in common. You never do your homework. You fail all your tests. You'd rather goof off than do anything school related. Ow. You don't even like reading about math or science or anything. We're complete and total opposites. <laughs> of something in common, yeah right. So basically, why do you want to hang out with me, Molly? She has a point. Think fast, Molly. Think fast. <laughs> Got it. Um, I know that you have a rivalry with my sister Daisy. But who's got the biggest brain? And I'm going to help you prove that it's you once and for all. <gasps> okay, I'm listening. Well, you see, the teacher told me that if I fail one more test, <laughs> I'm going to fail for the year. I'm the biggest dunce in this entire school. Ooh. And my sister tried to tutor me, and she failed. Uh -oh. But you have the biggest brain ever. If you can help the class loser actually get a good grade, It'll be proof that you have the biggest brain, Abigail. Wow, I like the sound of that. I'll meet you at your house right after school. Perfect. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Bricky. I've just got to get my backpack and head home. Can we talk for a minute, Molly? Could we talk tomorrow or something? Uh-oh. Um, I would really like to talk to you right now. Sorry, but I'm meeting my friend Abigail after school today, like right at 3.30 sharp. I I've got to go. But Molly, sorry, we can talk tomorrow or next week or something. Ah! I can't believe it. I lost my best friend. And to who? That Abigail girl? They don't even have anything in common. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Hello, Daisy. Are you here to see my sister, Abigail? Uh, yeah, is she home? We were supposed to meet here at 3.30 sharp. Good luck, she never's on time for anything. I'm here, I'm here, I I'm on time, I swear it. Wow. Oh, hey Molly, there you are. <laughs> well, come on, let's get started on your homework. I'm going to tutor you so good that everyone's gonna know I'm the biggest brain there ever was. Okay, anything you say, Abigail. Just help me pass this test. Okay, so the first is a word problem. If Micah has four bean burritos, and Terry has three bean burritos, and Sarah has four bean burritos, um, and you take away two bean burritos from Terry, how many bean burritos does everyone have left? Um, farts. What? What are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't really matter how many bean burritos are actually left. The only thing you have to be afraid of is all the farts. <laughs> Bully, take this seriously. I am. Bean burritos give lots of gas. The question should be, how many farts will be in the room? Molly! Seriously, take this to the extreme seriousness. Okay, okay. Well, I thought Daisy was a real, well, meanie pants. Five hours later. How much more of this do I have to do, Abigail? I was wondering the same thing. Just answer the next problem, Molly. Um, A. What? No! Oh, I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm going for a snack. Wait a minute. A snack? That's it. <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, Molly. 
Why, are you hungry too? No, but I am going to prove once and for all that I have the biggest brain in the entire school. Well, do you see these delicious tacos? Yeah, give me them, give me them. Hands off, Molly. What, no, you wanna let me eat those, right? Ha ha ha. I'll make you a deal. If you can answer this question correctly, you can eat all of the tacos. Wow. Really? Oh, wait a minute. But I'm not very smart. How will I answer correctly? Trust me, I think you're gonna get this just fine, Molly. Look at these tacos. Now, if I had 100% of the tacos, then it would all be mine, correct? Uh, yeah, but why would you get 100% of the tacos? I want 100% of the tacos. Oh, Molly, see? You're already learning the math you're supposed to. Really? Yeah, percentages. Now, if I took away half the tacos, what would you have left? 50%. Ha ha ha! It's so working! Apparently, you just need to think of math as, well, food. So, when you're getting your test tomorrow, just imagine every question is food. Whoa! Abigail, now I see why you do have the biggest brain. <laughs> yep, I'm about to prove it to everyone. <laughs> Well, I hope you don't use that big brain power to turn out to be a supervillain someday. Uh oh! Hey, Abigail, do you ever do anything fun, like ever, in your entire life? Yeah, learning is fun. I love math and science. No, I mean, you taught me something today. I'm gonna teach you something. Come on! What are you doing, Molly? What's happening? <laughs> We're going to play a game. What? No, I don't like games. Yeah, you'll love it, trust me. You can borrow my sister's skateboard. What? I don't ride skateboard. Yeah, you do now. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm not so sure about this, Molly. Live a little, Abby. Live a little, come on. Oh my God, Molly, this is a really big hill. You can do it, Abigail, come on. Whoa, <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> You can go off the diving board and flip it in the pool. Oh, uh, this is like a bad idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> Come on, Abigail. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Woo! <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Abigail? Abigail? Well, there goes the biggest brain in school. Molly, overheat her. That was so crazy. I went to Brookhaven Outer Space. <laughs> Did you learn something while you were up there? Real life, you know? Like, you just learned about that in science class and now you actually went there for real. It was so cool. I guess I just need to take a break from school and learning sometimes. Yeah, and I guess sometimes I actually need to study and like pay attention in school and like do my homework and stuff, at least like once in a while. Yeah, I guess we both can learn something from each other, Molly. Exactly. The next day. Brookie, are you okay? No, Molly, I'm not okay. Apparently, you don't have time for your best friend anymore. What? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Brookie. I, I've been really busy lately. Yeah, with Abigail. Yo, Molly, what's up? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun hanging out with you last night. <laughs> I rode my skateboard to school. Wait, you went and bought a skateboard? Yeah, it's so awesome, right? Wait a minute, you didn't have time for me, but you hung out with Abigail? <gasps> oh, we really aren't best friends anymore! Brookie! Ugh, just let her go. You have me now, Molly. No, Brookie's like my, been my best friend since preschool. Well, it's a good thing I'm your best friend too because you wouldn't have passed this test without me. Molly, you made Brookie really have her feelings. Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, hello, Daisy. Uh-oh. Okay, I know you guys are like completely arch nemesis. Someone smack or she's stuck. Molly, step out of it. Oh, yeah, arch nemesis. Okay, Molly, that's enough of that. Anyway, you guys are more alike than you think. I think you guys could be BFFs. What? Never. Uh-oh. Never. 
Okay, Molly, now's your chance to prove I've got the biggest brain. What? What are you talking about? You can even tutor your sister, right? You obviously don't have the biggest brain. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? If it was up to you, she'd fail every single test from here on out. But because she had me, big brain Abigail, she's finally learning how to do her math homework. And she's gonna pass this grade so easily, you just watch. Well, I tried to tutor her, but she's a pain in the butt. Ow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna just go ahead and go to class now. You two have fun arguing. <laughs> I can't believe Daisy. I can't believe Molly. I can't believe Abigail. I can't believe it. I got an A on my test. <gasps> <laughs> about this science test? What? No, I, I don't think so. Oh no, did you study? No, but I didn't. Oh God, I'm gonna fail. Um, Daisy, you pay attention in class. I doubt very much you're gonna fail. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I know that you're cutting a tooth and that hurts. I already gave you some medicine though. I'm sorry, sweetie. Would you like a popsicle? <laughs> Oh boy, it's going to be a very long day. Tell me about it! I'm gonna fail my science test! Oh god, this is the worst day ever! Ah, I'm uh, starving and I'm still half asleep. Mom, where's breakfast? What? Um, you were gonna have cereal this morning. No, Mom, I want French toast! <coughs> Sorry, Molly, I'm taking care of baby Kira right now. She's getting a tooth in and she's not feeling very good. But mom, I'm not gonna feel very good if I don't start my day off with French toast. But what about my science test? Ay, 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 ay. You know what? I think I need a day off. I'm calling your grandma. What? Why? We're the best kids in the world. Yeah, what are you talking about, mom? I'm talking about the fact that I need a break. Hello? Oh, I need you to come watch the kids today. I just need to get out of the house for like a few hours. Can you come by after school? Oh, yes, dear. I'll be there. Grandma's coming! Hooray! Oh, what? You're more excited about Grandma than me? Yes, because she makes us cookies and she lets us watch TV. And she's not, well, a uh, mom. <coughs> okay, baby Kira. Shh, 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 shh. Girls, I need you to get off to school and um, Grandma will be here when you get back, okay? Okay, Mom, I hope you have a good day, because I know I won't when I fail my science test. Daisy, you've never failed a test in your entire life. Well, getting a 92 is still failing. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's not. Getting an F is failing. I should know. I get enough of them. Ay, ay, ay. My life is over. Daisy, it's going to be fine. I mean, my problems are much worse than yours. I only have to eat cereal today. And I want it fresh now. I love cats. I love every type of cat. Cats make me smile. And so don't my grandkids. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> oh, who's that? I've never seen him in the neighborhood before. Hello. <laughs> I'm new to the neighborhood. Oh, um, you look, well, very um, friendly. I am. I also have a basket full of treats and goodies. Would you like one, Granny? Um, well, um, I don't know. Where'd you get that basket from? It looks like you stole it from Whole Foods. You're not a thief, are you? What? No, this is my basket. I bought it at Target. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh you don't even have to pay me for these treats. I have delicious apples in here. Don't you want one, Granny? Well, I didn't get a chance to eat lunch today, so, or breakfast, or when was the last time I ate? Oh, 
I guess I was just not thinking because I was too busy taking care of all my cats. I have 50, you know. Okay, lady, enough about the cats. Do you want the apple or not? Oh, well, yes, I'll take one of those apples, thank you. Oh, it looks like it's kind of a funny color. Well, it's not like it's poison or anything. Just eat it, lady. Okay, don't have to be so bossy there, Junior. Mm, that's a pretty good apple. Now, are your grandkids evil? What? No, of course not. I said your grandkids are evil. <laughs> My grandkids are evil. Your grandkids need to be punished. My grandkids need to be punished. <laughs> and your grandkids are. And my grandkids are. Well, what are they? Uh, I don't know. You're the ones changing me into the weird strict grandma. You tell me. <laughs> oh, I have to do all the work around here. Bad. Very, very bad. Uh -oh. Your grandkids are bad. My grandkids are bad. Very, very bad. Have a nice visit with your grandkids. <laughs> I'm putting this on Snapchat because I gave that cute little granny one of my poison apples. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what happens when she's the weird, strict grandma. <laughs> Who knew I looked so handsome on Snapchat? <laughs> oh, I'm so cute. I can't believe I failed my science test. Daisy, you didn't fail. Holy guacamole. You got a 95. To me, that's failure. Daisy, you need to stop being so hard on yourself. You're doing your best, and you're not perfect. Well, I guess you have a point. But still, I need to do better next time if I'm going to be a world famous scientist. Daisy, you're going to be exactly what you say you're going to be because you're Daisy and you're an overachiever. But come on, live a little. I mean, eat some pizza, don't study so much. Whoa, the door's open. That's weird. Well, my, Molly, Grandma's getting older. She's probably a bit forgetful. Grandma! Oh, I ran into the wall because I forgot where the door is. Womp womp. <laughs> Whoa, Grandma, you got a new look. What's going on with you? Ah, Grandma! Um, you need to fire your hair, your hairdresser, your makeup artist, your clothing designer, wherever you got this look from. Uh, it's creepy. What are you talking about? Don't be rude. Oh, sorry, Grandma. I didn't mean to be rude. You're still my grandma. Still, I still love you, even if you do look a little creepy. Grandma, where's the fresh baked cookies? And where's baby Kiwa? Uh, she's usually awake and she's watching Coco Melon by now. I don't know. I I think she's still in her crib. What? That sounds weird. Is she okay? I don't know. Uh, Grandma? Okay. I hope you're feeling okay. I'm gonna go check on baby Kira. Baby Kira! Baby Kira! <laughs> weird. She's taking an extra long nap. Must be she was just hurting because she um was cutting a new tooth and I remember when I was her age and I was getting my teeth, I slept extra long because it just like wipes you out when you feel like pain from growing your teeth in and stuff. It's just hard, so she's probably just extra tired. It's okay, baby Kira. You sleep as much as you need to. All right, now time to go eat some cookies. Okay, Grandma, where are the cookies? What cookies? Uh, the cookies that you were making us? I didn't make you any cookies. Wait, what? Grandma, I've been looking forward to chocolate chip cookies, your famous ones, all day long. And, 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 and... I didn't even buy an ice cream for dessert at school just so I have extra room for the cookies. And you didn't make any cookies! Molly, chill out. Don't be rude. Sorry, it's just Grandma. I was really looking forward to those cookies. Can you please make some now? Uh, let me think about it. No. What? Grandma, what's gotten into you? Okay, fine. And Well, I guess we'll just have dinner, but... Can we watch some TV? No. You kids are brats and you watch way too much TV. It's going to rot your brains. Well, too late for Molly, who brain already is rotting. Daisy! <laughs> Just kidding, sort of. Grandma, what's gotten into you? 
what's gotten into you is that you two are little brats. Brats? Did you just call us brats? But you're, we're your sweet little grandchildren. You're little angels. Yeah, right. Angels. Okay. Why don't you two start cleaning and getting this place picked up? Um, Grandma, it's like spotless. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't even see a speck of dirt anywhere. That's not true. There's definitely dirt. Find it. Um, Grandma? Okay. She's gone senile. She's gone crazy. Call the hospital. No, I think Grandma's just turned into strict Grandma. What? Strict Grandma? Yes, and if you don't follow my rules, you're going to be grounded from your best friend, Brookie, for a month. Can she do that, Daisy? I wouldn't find out, Molly. <laughs> what is she laughing about? And why is she jumping on the couch? She has gone crazy! She's weird! And she's strict! And did you notice something about her? She's got really weird eyes. Let me go look. Wow, Grandma. What creepy eyes you have. Better to watch you with. And Grandma, what gross teeth you have. Better to eat sauerkraut sandwiches with. Um, okay. I don't even know what to say to that, but you're just creepy, Grandma. Ah, uh, correction. She's the weird, strict granny. That's right. And when I'm here, you'll do what I say. Now, Molly. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be good. I know she's going to tell me something I don't want to do. Why aren't you sitting down? Are you lazy? Uh, no. It's just the game sometimes makes you sit down when you're near the furniture. Likely excuse. You sound like you're a liar and lazy. Uh -oh. Grandma, I don't know what's gotten into you. You used to be such a nice grandma. Something must have happened to you today. Now, Molly, I have a task for you, and it's not asking me a million questions about why I'm the weird, strict grandma. First, I have 50 cats. I know. Uh, and that has always been the weird part about you, even before you turned crazy. I love cats, every type of cat. They're my friends. Uh-huh, okay. But one of them has fleas, and it got in my hair. And I think between my toes. Ew, gross! Yes, totally. And you're gonna pick the fleas off of my hair and between my toes. Oh, Grandma, I don't know. That sounds like a job that you should go to, like, the salon for. Yeah, or the doctor. No, 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 no. I don't have time for that. They're really itching me. Ah, oh, so itchy! H itching me! Oh, Grandma, take a chill pill. Holy guacamole, what's going on with you? Oh, the fleas, they're all over me and they're so itchy! Get them off! Okay, Grandma, sit down. It's okay, I I'll help you out. Uh, Grandma, I don't think your feet are supposed to be that color. What's going on with your toenails? You look like a zombie. Well, Grandma is pretty old. <laughs> Maybe she is a zombie. <laughs> I'm not a zombie. I just haven't washed my feet in a little while. Yes. I can't really reach them anymore. Ooh, that sounds gross, Grandma. Well, that's where you come in. Now pick those fleas out before they get stuck in my toe jams and end up there forever. <laughs> I want my mommy! I want my mommy! Are you going to do this or what? I'm getting itchy again. Hurry, dear, before this one gets away. Ah! Oh, my God! This is a giant flea in here! Oh, it was between Grandma's toes! Ah! 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 Is it still chasing me? Oh, God. I think it stayed in the house. Oh, God! Here it comes! Ah! It's a giant flea that was in between my Grandma's toes! That's so gross! You stay back, you evil-looking thing! Um, okay, that was weird. Bye! Uh, bye bye Ugh, even fleas don't want to hang out with my weird, strict grandma. <laughs> grandma, I took care of all the fleas between your toes and in your hair. Could you please make dinner now? I'm really hungry. Oh, yes, dear, I'll make you dinner. Really? 
Oh, yeah, you definitely took all the fleas off of me, so I'll be really nice to you. How about a bean burrito? Yeah, Grandma! That would be lovely! <coughs> Even my grandma's just crazy, not weird and strict or something. Hooray! Hooray! I'm having a bean burrito for dinner, for dinner! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I like bean burritos and I can't not lie! You gotta fart so bad it's gonna make you cry! <laughs> when I see a bean burrito, I'm gonna scarf fit down! They're gonna run to everybody in the town! Wow, Granny, you made us dinner? That was nice of you! Yes, get over here, Molly, and eat something. Okay, I'm just gonna go check on baby Kira really quick. Hold on. Since nobody else is, poor baby Kira. She's been sick, and she's just, like, cutting teeth, and... Oh, she's still sleeping. So... Pretty sure she's gonna sleep all the way till tomorrow, which is probably a good thing, baby Kira, because we have the weird, strict granny here. I don't know what happened to her, but she's bonkers! Well, at least she made us a bean burrito, so that's pretty good. You took forever. Sorry, Grandma. I was checking on baby Kira. Mm, this bean burrito is delicious. Mm. Uh, Molly? Th 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 there's something on your bean burrito. It looks like a bug. What? Yeah. There's something on your bean burrito that looks like a bug. like some of the bugs that came from my house got in my clothes. I have cockroaches. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my Snapchat. <laughs> what? No, you're not gonna put this on our Snapchat. Too late. I was filming while you guys were eating those buggy burritos. What? Oh, I'm gonna be the laughing stock of the entire town. Daisy, take the bean burrito out of your mouth before you throw up more. I can't. It's like stuck. Ew, gross. Let me pull it off your face, Daisy. Okay, there. Daisy? Daisy? I've been dead from this. Daisy, you wouldn't be talking if you were dead from this. I feel dead. They killed me. It was so gross. Oh, <laughs> this is Snapchat gold. This is perfect for my Snapchat. Wait a minute. My grandma doesn't even know how to use a phone. She has to have one of those old jitterbug phones that are like just the numbers and they're like really big. You don't even barely know how to text. Well, granny just got with the program. Well, then maybe you should get the, the program about getting a pedicure on those toes of yours before you turn into an actual zombie. Daisy, get up, get up, come on. I can't, Molly. I am deceased. Oh my God. There's only one thing to do. Ah! Get back here. Okay, well, Grandma's in charge. What? You're going to go to bed, and I'm not going to catch you out of bed, not even once. Uh, Daisy, you better get up. I'll sleep way right here. Get up and go to your room. Okay, well, Daisy, good luck. Uh, this weird, strict Grandma is driving me crazy. Oh, wait, Daisy, I forgot where I live for a second. Molly, you know what room is yours, right? Yeah. Okay, I just have to pretend I'm sleeping so weird strict grandma doesn't know. I'm sleeping in here with you, Molly. No, you're not! I am, Molly. Okay, fine. I better not catch you out of bed. Daisy, what are we going to do about this? Snapchat it, Molly. She's crazy. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get on the door. Okay, there we go. Here she comes. I can hear her footprints. I mean her footsteps. Her footprints. Ah! Oh my god, she is so creepy. What are you doing? Oh, I guess they're just sleeping. Little brats. Daisy, I got her saying that we're little brats. And she looks all weird and crazy. Send it to mom. She'll come get us. Okay, here goes nothing. Daisy, there's no signal on my phone. Wait, what? what? Ugh! The internet at this house is so terrible. Why is this happening? Romani, you need to sneak outside and send it for Mathieu. Are you crazy? Do I hear somebody moving around? Uh oh! Back in bed! Uh, uh, okay, sleep. 
Oh, good. I was beginning to wonder if someone would need a punishment. <laughs> oh, God, she really is crazy. Okay. Good luck, Molly. I hope you don't die. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Okay. Oh, she's watching nothing. She's not even watching TV. How am I going to sneak by her? Do I hear something? Whoa. Uh oh. Oh god, here she comes! Um, where am I gonna sleep? Okay, here we go. I could have swore I heard something. Uh, my hearing isn't what it used to be. Okay. How do you almost get caught? Maybe I can go out the window. Oh, she locked the windows. I can't get out! I have to sneak by her. Who's there? Ah! Oh my god, damn, I'm making a break for it! Uh, okay, I gotta see if I can send this snap to my mom. Mom, help! Okay, I'm sending it to my mom right now. Alright, here we go, guys. I sent it, I sent it. Oh god, mom! Hurry! Where's straight grandma? Where do you think you're going? 